This here's the autopsy report. You better not update it halfway through a trial. I swear to fucking Christ. Does it involve the victim in any way? Funny you should mention that, Bambina. Chief Prospector Guy, Detective Goodman, had nothing in common at all. They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. He wasn't particularly gifted detective. That's one reason why he didn't do much work with the chief, chief prosecutor. Mr. Cole didn't hear the murder, right? So why would that be? So it seems like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. But... Marshal, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective. You calling me out? They shoot you for that in Texas. I was one of them fancy shoot detectives till two years ago, to tell you the truth. He was, he, he's a former detective who got de demoted. He got demoted. Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? No reason. We're just short on hands right now. I'll keep an eye on in the meantime. I forgot she was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important, at least. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, eh? I'm t sensing some anti-Edgeworth hostilities here, and that needs to fucking stop. Edgeworth is my comfort prosecutor. I will not have this slander. Cow dogs been kicked out of the cattle run by order of the chief of police. Just he don't realize it yet. Well, might as well examine the car now. Oh, is that a phone? Looks like a it's a step cell phone actually. Belong to the victim. I can't think of anyone else it could belong to. Yeah, we'll check it out. See what's in it. Oh, I'm not touching any buttons. This is them doing it on, on their own. Set the phone up. Oh, it's still on the redial screen. It's to right. Most phones keep a record of all the calls you've made and re received. Just press the blue button to display the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? i surprised you didn't know about it. Won't you, but even I know a thing like redial about things like redial. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. You never know with people from your gener- From your generation! Oh, man. She just called him old. I see your last owner of this phone. Just buttons. <sighs> That's the Steel Samurai f theme song. I see you, partner. You pressed redial on that there phone, didn't you? This phone is this anyway. I was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to Chief Prospector Sky. It's my sister's. Apparently dropped him when she was taken into custody right after the crime. But the last call was made right when this murder occurred. It's like she was fixing to call someone. If she only spoke for a few seconds according to this. No idea. Sorry, partner. I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those newfangled ring tunes. That was my phone. What? Your phone? Yeah, it's kind of strange, but someone called me right as you picked up the other phone and <laughs> they're on the wrong number. I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. Okay, so... 
let's examine this a bit more. Sister Cell Phone. It was used right after McGoodwin was killed. Maybe she was canceling her date for the night. Let's open the cell phone up. Didn't find anything else to look at aside from the cute charm. What's wrong with it? Everyone has different tastes, you know. The pink princess strap. They're hard to come by. Let's actually do some investigation work at this point. There's no connection between Detective Goodman and my sister. That's correct, but there's a gold mine of evidence against her. And the prospect of tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, Bombina. Many condolences. Yeah, Bombina? How can you say that? My sister, you were... Oh, was there... Was there some relationship there? I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's blowing through the prospector's office. Unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he met you. If the rumors about Edward to their source, you find one person. But they're off limits, untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? I hate to say this, but it's your sister, Bombina. Chief Prospector Lana Sky. Okay. So Lana was accusing Edgeworth of the evidence. Oh no, Lana gave him the ammo that he used in his trials. You're right, right. He, because she, she gives, she handles all the cases. People load them with D. You're saying Edgeworth making deals to win trials? Where there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timers say. There's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Well, we still have to do some examinations. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. <laughs> wow. Call out. A step ladder. Let's look at the car. Looks like a note of some sort. Looks like something's written on it. What are the odds that you have to flip that up upside down to read it? 6, 7S, 12, 12. The paper above that. Good man. Well, so what does it mean, Mr. Wright? We'll figure out later. You know what this means either. If you've got some clues. You have not touched your report. I know from the victim and a cell phone. So you think we'll be okay? We'll find out at trial, I suppose. No problem. I can guarantee that she's a lot the criminal. She's a liar. The phone plays in the ring. Still Samurai theme song, isn't it? That popular TV show for kids? The phone that rang earlier wasn't mine. It was yours. Your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? Time to reveal everything to me. And what you talked about. She hung up right away. I see. 
detective is murdered and a suspect is the top prosecutor in this district. I got a bad feeling about this. Looks like it's time for a trial. We've got to defend our client. In the court of law and order SVU. A show I have never watched. Trial former. I don't like the sound of that. Defendant's lobby number two. How the investigation go today? Gray areas. The whole thing is one big gray area. Don't worry about me, no matter what the outcome. I'm ready to accept my fate. Mr. Wright, let me offer you a word of advice. A defense attorney should never believe their clients. The defendant is called to trial because they are suspected of wrongdoing. Never forget that. You remind me a lot of Mia, but there is one decisive difference between you and her. And that is... You're not a defense attorney. I believe it's almost time for the trial. You're right, she's a, pros she's a prosecutor, not a defense lawyer. All due respect, Miss Sky. You're not a defense attorney. Let me do my job. I know how to bumble and stumble and fumble my way out of this. I've done it before. The first job without a Faye helping me. No one's going to bail me out this time. I'll be alone in there. So I have to discover the truth all by myself. Soon, Mr. Wright, I'll be with you the whole time. Yeah, so we're not gonna be alone. We're gonna have Miss Sky in the in the box. Who conveniently looks a lot like M Maya in terms of her portrait. Just do a recolor and add some glasses. You're good. It's fucking good. I am sure there's a re. I'm sure that's that's why. I'm sure. The reason that Emma looks the way she is is because she looks a lot like Maya. In silhouette. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution has been ready for a while, Your Honor. In two months, but I haven't met, been in the courtroom since his trial. I hope that personal feelings will not be part of the proceedings today, Mr. Wright. I will choose the path I think is right regardless of what those around me might say. Judgment to be made here is in our hands, not those of anyone else. He is trying his best to be calm, cool, and collected. I respect that. I respect Edgeworth. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky has committed an unpardonable crime. I don't believe this... She was rash to commit it in the prosecutor's, prosecutor's office lot. That's kind of what he does. That, 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 that's, how he, that's how he rolls, Emma. That's how he be. He is someone who with a, with a very strong force of will. She will now pay for her rashness with her life. There was a witness to a crime. A professional witness. Call your first witness to the stand, Mr. Edgeworth. The first witness, Miss Angel Starr. The cough up queen herself. Haven't I seen you somewhere? You ordered the caviar lunch, right? Ho ho, caviar! I've never eaten caviar before. And for you, I have the Fiesta Bowl. Will the witness state her name and profession? And you, sir. Did you order the fingerprint lunchbox? It is too early for lunch. Your name and profession, please. Well, Your Honor, how does it taste? This is why everyone raised rock caviar. It's so tasty it hurts. Pickled tapioca? What the fuck? Judge! Judge, are you are you okay? Did they hurt you? 
Name profession. Now. Name is Angel Star. Don't go forgetting it. I find myself running Lunchland these days. Is that what you wanted me to say, Mr. Edgeworth? Very well, witness. Please describe the incident for us. I'm not finished eating. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. As you know, we usually call the police to provide a description of the crime. Your Honor, Mr. Edgeworth has said to the court, I am a professional. What does that mean? Until two years ago, Miss Angel Star was a special investigator with the police. She was a first-rate homicide detective. Miss Star was a detective? Ah! I know who you are! Cough up? Cough up Queen Angel Star, Your Honor. Long time no see. Dee. <laughs> I might have the court attention over here. The parking lot of the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. A block... A block is for the prosecutor's office personnel. B block is for visitors and clients. A chain divider separates the two blocks. I suppose that's to keep the visitors taking the prosecutor's space, yeah? The crime took place by a car in the back of A block in the car's trunk. The killer stabbed the victim with this knife and went to dive the body to drive the body out. Dive the body out. Unfortunately for her, there was a witness, and the rest was made on the spot. Who was this valiant witness? Why, it was me, of course. Give her a moment of the crime? Of course, Your Honor. Immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. I can't read on principle, Your Honor. It seems that some poor losers are unwilling to accept the truth, Your Honor. Shall I proceed to crush what little hope they have remaining? If you can, then give me your, them your worst, Miss Star. Talking about me? Yes, they are, Phoenix. Yes, they fucking are. Somehow, I always knew a day like this would come. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. When I sensed something, perhaps it was my finely honed detective intuition at work. Through the, through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. Bring a lunchbox to your boyfriend, how touching. Hmph. As you can see, there is no room for doubt. Testimony seems to be nothing older th other than the point of the knife it, with the point of the knife which you saw being stabbed at Detective Goodman. How does it feel to be so utterly crushed? I'm still thinking about that. Time for my job. How did you know a day like this would come? Prosecutor's basic abhorrent abhorrence of crime. Yet their methods are ugly and twisted. Twisted methods will always lead to tragedy. The Luntley's uninformed opinion is duly noted. <laughs> that is a takedown if I ever saw one. Even if they are used to erasing inconvenient evidence at their whim. Killing off a detective that knew too much is merely an extension of that. Do you have something personal against prosecutors? I thought that I found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, I'd still be one. She was fired? She's nothing more than worms. I said I am a pro, as you know. My testimony is unbiased and flawless. Someone has a gold chip off her shoulder. Where were you? 
the detective. Not that boyfriend, the security guard. That you have several? Yes, this boyfriend, that boyfriend, and the other boyfriend. Care to join? You get another boyfriend. Position is still open for applicants. The judge had to think for applying. <laughs> Security guard groom is in the lot in A block. It's up the second level, so you can see everything from there. Definitely, did you bring your lunchboxes by car? The visitor now and now I parked in B block. When I said something, perhaps it was my finally home detective instincts at work. Sense something, so you're saying you had a premonition of the murder. It felt like, how would you say? Oh, yes. It was like the feeling you get when you view a pumpkin chock full of seeds. I have no idea what that means either. Wasn't the visit victim Bruce Goodman also a detective? Yes, well, he was like a young cheese. A pale white cheese, not yet changed with experience on the streets. A green horn. A hard deal and sharp attack. In any case, in the, there, in the lot, I felt something staring in the back of my mind. Through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to the garish car. You mean... Mr. Edgeworth's car, yes. Gently, the knife with the with no stab also, Mr. also belonged to Mr. Edgeworth. Wasn't it? Indeed it was. What an odd case this is. The person you saw, you are sure it was the defendant. Sorry from further than 30, no further than 30 feet away. I am certain it was her. Don't have any proof we can always make pick. Witness, in your testimony, you clearly stated the, the following. Prosecutors are nothing worse than worms, ergo, you are a biased witness. You may want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, rookie. Unless you're willing to risk the consequences of doubting me. I'll fry you like a fritter. Crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. You could cry plagiarism. You're relegated to a lowly post of lunch lady, but my instincts are honed. A photograph? You took this? The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snapped. I took a picture. In fact, my lunchbox is rigged with a camera. My most famous photograph. Witness! Why am I only seeing this photograph just now? I think I show it to you, a prosecutor? Think again. My boyfriend works in the photocopy division of criminal affairs. So what was the defendant doing at the time? She's holding a knife in her right hand. a coat. Oh, or about this knife that the suspect was carrying. Well, I'd say the blade was about four inches long. Isn't that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Is your knife... It is your knife, after all. Uh, yes, that's about right. 
Prosecutors are by nature well versed in the location of a man's vital organs. I'm sure it was easier than boiling an egg from my egg salad surprise set. If you're an egg, I mean a person. Perhaps a chicken salad set would have been a better metaphor. And it was holding a knife. What then? The pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. Well, then the knife would have blood on it. Would have blood on the tip, wouldn't it? Present the knife as evidence. No, okay, I fucked up. Not. She's holding nothing in her hand. Objection! And you witness this. You saw Miss Sky stab the victim with a knife. Vidari said yes. I swear it's on my finest salmon swirl lunch. But isn't that odd? Look at this photograph. The photograph you took at the very moment of the crime, is it not? Then why is Miss Sky not holding a knife? Him? Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Objection. No, no shouting, just objection. That had to be the weakest objection ever, Edgeworth. Yet it was still stronger than your ever feeble mind, Mr. Wright. This photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing, this was taken the moment after the stabbing. And how can you tell that? Blood spatter. See the dark crimson stains on the chief prosecutor's coat? It's black and white in the photograph. Ah. This could be... Well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. I'm going to just sit there and take that kind of abuse? Objection! Said in her testimony. Namely, that she took the picture the moment she witnessed the crime. Since I was slightly unclear, my apologies. That's it? If you run out of lunch, you order seconds. Problem solved. If you don't like it, try ordering from a jumbo sized lunch from the get go. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor Sky was cold, calculating like a lo like a robot. She killed without pain or remorse. It was a premeditated murder. Objection! Premeditated? How do you know? The chief prosecution hands in this photograph. Are those gloves? Gloves made of thin rubber, most likely. Why would she have those on? It was if it was not premeditated, she would not have been wearing those gloves. Meditated murder, a serious offense. Murder was planned, but her gloves prove it. No. Do you know what this is? Are you trying to test me? I sell box lunches for a living, you know. That's a knife. The knife. The knife that was in Mr. Edgeworth's trunk. Indeed, it was my knife. Defendant is the chief prosecutor from the district, right? Mommy, are prosecutors bad people? Yes. Uh, to that last one, yes, they are. Prosecutors are always bad people. Sorry, Edgeworth. So the witness provided an accurate testimony. What's that, rookie? 
in your testimony, you say that the last guy planned this murder, and that's why she was wearing those special gloves. Natural conclusion to me, the gloves do indicate planning. However, why would she not also prepare the most important thing, the murder weapon? Oh. And I just happened to be in the trunk of that car. What if it wasn't? You're going to plan a murder. You don't forget the weapon. That is a pretty big whoopsie doobers. The tide's turning in our favor. Great show, Mr. Wright. He does that thing that Von Karma taught him to do with the with the with finger wagging. Right. I believe the next lunch I'll be eating is humble pie. What? I hope you weren't deluding yourself into thinking that this tide has turned. Not to over such a trifling detail. Hole in the whole premeditated theory. Bah! The prosecution could care less if it was premeditated or not. The only one who seems to care is that lunch lady over there. The defendant Lana Sky murdered a detective with a knife. That is the only thing the prosecutor needs need prove. Nothing else. Very good, Mr. Prosecutor. I suppose you think you're clever now. But you know as well as I do that she planned on killing him. It was planned. If it wasn't, why would she have been wearing... If I'd like to hear your testimony again. Witness, please tell us only what you saw, not what you thought. How dare you. My power seduction not to be underestimated. Angel's deduction. Lana Sky intended to murder Detective Goodman. That's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecution's office. Sure, the chief prosecutor had a grudge against the victim. Nothing else could drive that machine to plunge the knife in again and again. One knife wound. Jesus Christ. You're making this easy. Like premeditation, doesn't it? So if I ordered a pizza, does that mean I'm planning to kill the delivery boy? Let's just go to the again and again line and present this report! At least she stabbed him again and again. But you couldn't have witnessed that. Are you testing me? Then I'll test you. With my moss surprise. I'm afraid the moss is growing under our feet as we wait, Miss Star. What do you mean? I shouldn't have to explain this, but take a look. The autopsy report states that the victim... The death was due to a loss of blood from one stab wound. You're right. Good show, Mr. Edgeworth. 